Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths. You may or may not be walking out in your purpose at this moment in time, but there's something I want to bring to your attention. This narcissist that was involved in your life or this toxic individual that was involved in your life saw that you were flourishing with potential. They saw you as someone with huge amounts of potential. And this was one of their main reasons for intercepting your life because they realized that by them intercepting your life and intervening in your life, they could condition you to orientate yourself towards directing your purpose, your potential towards them and giving them huge amounts of supply. You see, and this is often what they do. And so, like I said, whether you're actually in your purpose at the moment or you're not, a lot of you would have collectively, have, as empaths and chosen ones, actually stepped into your calling and stepped into your purpose you know, after awakening to narcissistic abuse or toxic abuse, you would have you would have woken up to your potential. And you see, your life might have been going in a certain pattern um, prior to awakening or when you were with this narcissist in your life or this toxic individual in your life. You know, your life might have been you may have had a job or a career or a business and your life was going in a certain fashion. Right. And, and, and that's all you saw. You know, that's all you saw. You didn't see ahead. You couldn't see beyond um, the horizon. You couldn't see what was what was what was going to come into your path. Right. And um, after you went through the abuse, this is why some of you that are like are just going through it now or, you know, you you will be presented with your calling. You you, you will be presented with a mission um a purpose meaning this will this will definitely come into fruition into your life you know some of you may already have had your purpose and you just knuckled down even more you know after having the narcissistic relationship with this narcissist involved in your life or this toxic individual involved in your life and you knuckled down more on what you'd already built up you know and you began to um, you know, just knuckle down basically, right? But what this, this narcissist wanted to do to you was facilitate your potential, all of your energy towards them, have it orientated towards them and distract you from your true calling. This is why they're sent your way. They're sent your way to distract you from your path. They're sent your way to distract you from your calling, Right. And this is why you, 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 you've got to understand, you know, this has happened for a reason. Um, the narcissistic relationship, one, because it woke you up to the parasites that, that exist in the world, two, because it, 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 it stimulates you to to flourish in your own field or whatever that might be in your career, your business, your work whatever that might be, it gives you the, uh, the energy and the motivation to, to um, succeed. And success is ultimately the best revenge you can get on a narcissist, right? They don't want to see you succeed and they've never wanted to see you succeed, right? They, they want you to, to, to infiltrate your life and have you orientated towards them, right? That's what they wanted. But that's the best thing they wanted for you is for you to be so focused on them, right? And, you know... Some of you that are at your early, early days, like this might sound like a fairy tale or something like that. It, it's going to happen. You know, something's going to present itself in your life. And that's why you need to keep be vigilant. Right. Some some opportunity is going to present itself. Something will come along your way and it will give you the opportunity to to focus on something of meaning. Right. Um, I've spoken to many victims of narcissistic abuse that have found their calling, that have found their purpose after encountering narcissists, from artists to writers to people that have gone on to do YouTube, um, people that have discovered they've got hidden talents, 
you know there's even been people that um have started singing and writing songs and the the, the list is endless right and it doesn't always have to be something in, in, in creative art so to speak like writing uh singing art artistry it doesn't always have to be something in creative arts it can be something in your business in your work in your career you know it might be that you get so focused on your career that you're already in that you get a promotion or you 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 might build up a side hustle or a business that actually becomes your main income you know it, it can be anything basically going through narcissistic abuse really does propel you forward and gives you ultimately the the motivation to 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 work through certain obstacles and it builds up your fortitude your mental fortitude because you've gone through such pain in your life right you've gone through such a harsh awakening you know um realizing that someone you cared about or someone who was close to you whether it was a family member friend romantic partner colleague or associate someone that was so close to you um you've you've gone through that pain with them and now when you're facing challenges and obstacles in your own path in the business sector in your career in your work um in your creative pursuits um you you overcome these challenges now with ease you know nothing's too much for you anymore you've already gone you've already gone through the hurricane and now you see the sunshine you know you've already been through the hurricane you've been through the turbulent times and now you see that sunshine and that's what it's all about you know um life will open up for brighter days you know this is all ahead of you on your journey of healing and you will find this on your path you know god karma the universe whatever you want to call it will 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 bring something into fruition into your life that helps aid your healing this all will help aid your healing on your journey and your walk in life you see because you'll be distracted you'll be focused they were the distraction still till now they may they may um cause you to ruminate or you know they're still trying to distract you even if they're not not even in your life anymore you know and that's ultimately their aim that's why you go through such harsh abuse because they want to scar your mind heart and soul they don't want you to heal they want you to be focused on them you know and they 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 really want to distract you from any from you bettering your life really they they don't want you to better your life you know they they ultimately want to distract you from bettering your life you know so anyway um keep strong and just know you've got bright edge opportunities ahead of you and work hard on those of you that already found your purpose keep grinding and keep working hard so anyway thank you for watching today please press the like and the subscribe button if you'd like to donate to the channel you can find the link in the description box and if you'd like a one-to-one -one session myself you can also find the link in the description box currently i've got the main channel the narcissism channel if you'd like to join the end of the month empath group meeting you can also find the link in the description box or if you'd like an email consultation with me you can find the link for crisis email support in the description box so anyway if you'd like to know more about awakened empath you need downtime to recharge click this video here so anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.